Tyler's and Joiners will install your new bathroom suite in a week, and that's a promise. Okay. M1 bathrooms, tiles and PVC panels, Kennedy Way Industrial behind Asda. Call 90 300 555 and get the job done with M1. This is Dom from Insurance. You should see the song oh, in Seventh Song Crash. It's a market and a railway line. The train goes right through the middle, eight times a day, every day. The market traders have to scramble to get their stuff off the tracks, and their warnings out of the way. And any shoppers who happen to be milling about have to find an escape, quick. The train often brushes up against the fruit and veg as it passes through, presumably adding a slight hint of railway to your mangoes. We've got a slight hint of travel insurance for your holiday. This is insurance. Take us away with you. Johnny Hero. Great music there. Right, Arlen is in. Hiya, can you hey, hear yourself? Yes. Can you hear yourself? Okay. Yes, I can. Thank you. And stop nipping me. What's the chair? Me. He doesn't okay. like me sitting this close. I don't know what happens. My, yeah, my personal space, my, <laughs> my bubble, bubble of safety, you know. Stop it. You're the same as my ma. See, my ma's talking at all. Come here, come here, come here. And now you're looking at her. It's as if you're not looking at me enough. I can't look at you anymore. And my ears and I'm listening. No, well, come here, come here, come here. It's just listening. Sorry. Sorry, mommy. Right. But it's, it's, I can understand if somebody's going like looking around him and you go, whoa, pay attention to me. But you're looking at my man like that. No. I need 101% of your attention. Because this is a good story. Now she told me about a big thing coming up in the doggers. And she warned me not to lose the ticket and all she gave me. <laughs> you lost I lost it. <laughs> and it's about So there's a big thing called There's an organization up. called Ship, isn't there? Uh-huh. You you only mean you only <laughs> letting on. But they they're doing a show in the Dockers and it's about how the docks came into being and the history of the docks and all. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what it's about. Mm -hmm. But I've lost the ticket. But it's so on. if anybody knows what that is, tell me. When is it on? I don't even know. Can't remember, but she gave me that. She says, "There's the ticket. Don't you lose that." It was like handing over the holy grail. You know, don't lose the ticket. And I was going, "No bother. What do you think I am? I need you." Hold on a wee second. So I lost it. You just handed me a photograph that we had taken twenty years ago, and you were told then not to lose it. Bobby Hamby gave me those photographs for you. Yeah. Seriously, about twenty years ago, uh -huh. and I found the envelope in the shade. <laughs> and it says, Johnny. For you, Linda. She's waiting on this. <laughs> there was a note on the envelope, and I was like, "Right, can you see a photo of myself? I'll just, I'll just show the camera people, because there's it's on Facebook. Ah, ah, you look well there. Mm -hmm. I was on crutches. That's why I look fat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, crutches do that. To Listen, everybody. I'm a man. I'm gonna look for any excuse. <laughs> crutches do that. To a that woman will go, funny. "Don't show anybody that photo. I look terrible. You know when they look like a film star." Uh -huh. But a fellow will go, ah, that's right, I, I, I was out the night before, that's why I'm not looking my best. And, I, you know, I, I, I banged my head, and face was looking fat, all swole up. So listen, you went to see Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. Now, don't do, I mean, sometimes you do spoilers and no, give things away. you make me do but spoilers. No, but, but don't, because me and John's going to see oh, it tonight. All right, so it's okay all for right? me to do it when other people are going to see it, but you yeah. make me do yes, the spoilers. Well, don't spoil it for me and our John. Right. Or, I kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I kill you. So, Alright, because I have something to ask you. Go ahead while I'm typing what away. What are you doing? I'm trying to get a, a, a review up just in case your review's mm -hmm. wick. Right, okay, so. In case. We ever. Br just in case, God forbid. We ever brought up before the teacher. Judge. <laughs> Say judge. <laughs> yes. The judge or the teacher, whatever it is. Brought it before the teacher. Or would you ever brought up before a teacher for doing something wrong when you were in school? All the time. Were you? Yeah. My mum thought you were a wee saint. No, no, but I mean, just, I, anyway, go ahead, why? No, that, that is it. I'm just, well, I'm asking me that for Because I'm making a point. Because a recent survey says if you were brought up before the teacher, you're a genius. No. Oh, there'll be a punchline on these things. I was looking for a punchline when I said it. it was just a question. Yes. No, there has to be no, a story I, I remember it. one day in particular, and I was late getting into school, as usual, you know, five more minutes in bed, five more minutes. You've missed your bus! Ah! Ronnie at the bus, and then we had to go from Twinklebrook into the town and then mm. the town up to St Malachy's and the Antrim Road and getting in and it was the worst possible scenario. It was double maths to start and the teacher hated oh, me. Joy. He was a wee pig anyway. Mm -hmm. um, nobody liked him but I was going, oh dear. And I had my homework done 
so what? Because I wanted to call. Hold on, somewhere. you had two buses to get your homework done. Yeah, but I couldn't do it, so I was relying on the you know a copy of if somebody had got it, and I'd give them my Latin homework. One oh, of right. it was a whole trading market, the whole, but I, I wasn't in in time. So I got into class and the trip said, "Sorry, sir, the bus was late." And he says, "Well, your mate said." The guy I got the bus with, Tommy. <laughs> and look at the Tommy going, crawler. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought I'll sit down. So it was already had it in for me. And I sat down and he was going through some, right, Pythagoras' theorem. And then there was this big clunk. <laughs> the desk I was sitting at just fell apart, you know. And he says, did you dismantle that desk yourself? And I'm thinking, I. I'm in late. I'm trying to hide the fact I'm no homework. And I thought, I'll wreck this desk just for the crack and draw more attention to myself. So then he says, come here. You know, and I went up, beetroot red, and all he says, show us your homework. <laughs> no. no. It was one of those things out of a film. Nothing else could happen here that would just make this worse. And I was like, I forgot it. <laughs> and all I could hear to the boys is, you know. So it was one of those, and then he gave me detention, and it was like, had me by the ear, and you know, and I was just, no, this can't get any what a day. But the thing is, it all happened because you were late. It all started with being late, yes. Yes, yes I'm only And late. you're never late. No, I was always late at school. Yeah. Always, always late at school. Yeah, that was just, it was just, I remember that one, that we, one, just one thing after another, and I remember thinking in my head, please don't ask me about my homework. And the next phrase was, show us your homework. <laughs> Forgot it. Oh, you forgot it, did you? But you must remember doing it because it was only last night. So what did you get for you know? Anything? I don't remember. Oh, it was just one of those. It went, just got worse and worse and worse. Like, why did you ask me that? I have no idea. I thought about it during the week and I wrote it down on a piece of paper. But it was terrible, you know. He had just singled out, singled out up to the front or whatever. But I'm sure there's been worse ones than no, you. No, we well we had a teacher who'd get you up to the front if he caught you talking or anything, and used to make you kneel for the rest of the lesson on chalk. Why? I didn't wonder I had bad knees. What do you mean why? Because it was painful. Why did the chalk do it? Yes, kneel on a bit of chalk. Right, okay. Oh right, kneel on a bit of chalk. Yeah, I think you meant dust chalk, lean on the Oh, dust. like kneel on the dust? Ah, oh. oh, please don't let me <laughs> kneel on the dust. No, we're sand down, no, we're dust. <laughs> How could anybody Cop, be so... don't hit me with that cobweb. <laughs> How could anybody be so cruel as to make a kid lean on a bit of chalk? Teachers from St. Malachy's. When? Yeah. Them days. Did everything short of kneecap you? <laughs> Seriously? In those days. Well, he had a dean of discipline. Uh-huh. That was his job, to run around slapping people. Uh -huh. And he had this big strap. Me, you. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know? Uh -huh. Not in the face, not in the face. The police will press charges. <laughs> 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 run around black and blue, below, below the neck. <laughs> Serious, it was wild. No. I told I remember one day, a teacher called me up the front because I was talking. He hit me a dig in the gob. Uh -huh. Right? And I, I got home all indignant. Hey! Teacher hit me a dig in the cup. Here's my dad. <laughs> I never got it for nothing. <laughs> Take another one. Because again, well, those are the days where, you know, your parents would have sided with the teachers. Mm -hmm. You know, if you get hit with a hatchet, it doesn't matter. You must have deserved it because mm -hmm. the teachers are to be respected. And, mm -hmm. You know, all that. But now it's about the other way. Oh, now there'd be, you know, phone our solicitor. <laughs> uh -huh. You know, hope you called into the hospital to get stitches because that all counts in the claim. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? So anyway. Right, um, somebody says, she only asked because your mummy thought you were a wee angel and my mummy's listening. Mm. But I was a wee angel compared mm. to some. You were a wee angel. I suppose so. I just got the maths. I, I still, I would still have nightmares about him, you know. Really? About um, maths? And I think the reason he didn't like me, very early on in our career in first year, he heard me talking about him. I thought you were going to nope. say he heard you sing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's what you were going to say. And you thought that was a reasonable <laughs> reason to hit me? Anybody that heard you sing would hate you for life. <laughs> what did they do? No, he heard me talk. We were slagging really? him one day in the corridor and he was standing behind us and he went, he just looked at me as real. Oh. That was my card mark. Uh -huh. Had him for the next three years. Life was a misery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Big Sean says, that math teacher is my dad. <laughs> <laughs> right. <clears throat> so, you go, did you go and see a film? Yes, of course I did. Spider-Man. Right, uh -huh. so tell us about it. I saw a trailer and it looked great. Mm -hmm. So... Go. So Spider Man, if you watch the end of Captain America, is yes. Tony Stark finds him. He hears mm -hmm. about him and then he finds him and then he gets him to join in the fight with Captain America. But Ooh. that's irrelevant. So Iron Man's a bit like a talent scout. Yes, right. he's been looking out for more people. 
Right. But the, the thing about Spider Man, he's only fourteen or fifteen, so he's still too young. Right. So Tony Stark yeah. has someone in his Spider Team. <laughs> has someone in his company watching out for him. But in the meantime, with somebody in his company. Yeah. When I'm sitting in the bar. <laughs> Are you in the company? Which means, are you part of our drink? No, I just sit here me own. I'm only on a shandy. You're in the company or you're not? What are you having? Well, if I'm in the company, I'll have a double. <laughs> right. So, it's a very official thing when you go to a bar in Belfast thing, you know? Are you in the company? Or, and then, you'll maybe, you'll join in, you'll meet your mates in the bar and there'll be a, a, a park ranger at the table, a stranger. And, right, I'm going to get a drink, but then you'll walk over to your mate and go, is he in our company? <laughs> Means, do I have to buy him a drink? I don't know him. What am I buying him a drink for? Who's he with? Not buy his own. But if he's in the company, you have to buy him. Yes. You know. And of course, it'd be a stranger and you go, paint, 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 paint. No, uh, can I have a martini? <laughs> a what? Do you know where you are? And a packet of crisps. Oh, no, hold on. None of this old crisp, Lord. Crisps are 42p a packet. I'm going to get six packets of crisps. That's another pint. You know, so it's all this here. But if you're in the company, you have to, whatever you ask for, it's unwritten rules, you yeah. see. Well, why yeah. does your brain work? I meant in Tony Stark's Oh, anyway, company. so Iron Man was not sitting having a drink in the club. No, no and, and Spider-Man okay. wasn't having a drink with him either. So, this would be a better film. <laughs> a member Sitting of Tony Stark's company. Want to buy a fur coat? <laughs> Are you still running them greyhounds? Nah. Yep. Do you want a fur coat? What says your wife? Wait, that says. She just gives it over. That'll fit her. Fiber. <laughs> uh, Go ahead. Anyway, so I don't know, this is supposed to be about Spider-Man. You know you could have bought in the pubs, because we've done this before, but you could have bought um, quilt covers and sheets on in a Saturday pub? in the pub. Could have bought anything. Yeah. I mean, yeah. seriously. Could have bought a wife. Anything. <laughs> no, I'm Listen, we spoke about this before, mm -hmm. um, and our dad wasn't the only one. Come home um, quite merry. Mm -hmm. Of a Saturday evening with all kinds of things, <laughs> you know, there's a 24 pack of European meat, <laughs> European student steak, you know, eight by 1947 printed on it, and you had to stew it for about three days. <laughs> and, and you know, and, and he might have a bow and arrow, a dog, you know, a trumpet, two man tent, bought these in a bar, the man selling them. And I'm gonna up him more because he may have more more gear. <laughs> Pumps for bicycles. None of us had a bicycle. <laughs> you shut up. You know this is true. I know. You know, this went on everywhere. I mean, well, in, in our estate, the, and if you live from the estates, that was that was the, that was the that was the crack. People think I'm making this up, but that was serious. You would see you him know? coming down the back path, and you went, "Oh no, what has he got now?" He got now. And normally a couple of idiots in tow. Uh, He's out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> what? And we all knew that was code for. He had a room in his own house. He's been put out, and he's staying with us tonight. <laughs> you know, he, he's uh, Johnny's out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> all kinds of oh, yeah, we're sitting in my seat. Hey, man's a guest. It's his seat now. <laughs> Still there, about seven months later. <laughs> I haven't had a seat in this house for seven months. Is Jumpy still here? <laughs> anyway. anyway. Right. So, I mean, if you're from Cherry Valley or the Malone Road, you haven't a clue what we were talking about. You know? So it's not as if you went up to Bombardel Golf Club and there was a guy selling, you know, <laughs> second-hand gear. <laughs> and, you know, so that didn't happen, but it happened in our house. Yeah. Right, this film. So is there a new Spider Man? Yes, there's a new right. Spider Man, and he's Again. fifteen, and he's not old enough to be big enough to be in the Avengers. <laughs> not old enough to be big enough. He's, no. he's, he hasn't. He hasn't grown up yet. No. He hasn't mended. My no. used to say he hasn't filled out. He hasn't filled out. Stay. Paint again. It's filled out. <laughs> That's what they just stopped telling. They, they didn't tell me to stop. <laughs> told me to start filming out when I was a teenager and you know I lit a candle for him that he fills out a bit to go and put it out <laughs> <laughs> somebody blow that candle out I can't fill out anymore anyway go 
go. <laughs> All right, so that's the story. <laughs> you didn't tell me a story. <laughs> Let me get this effect. Let me get this I forget what it's about. Well, it's good. I'm going tonight. It was good. You like it? <laughs> First review, random review, uh, gives it 10 stars out of 10. It's very good. Uh, so it says, thrilled by his experience with the Avenger. <laughs> Avengers. Avenger. He got a new motor as well. When he was down in the bar. <laughs> I got an Avenger in the back of her. I was looking at him on it. It was something she could drive to. So, Peter returns home where he lives with Aunt May under the watchful eye of new mentor Tony Stark. Iron Man. It, then the Vulture emerges as a new villain who's Michael Keaton. Mm -hmm. Right? He's a body. He's a body. Um, that's good because I always associate him with being funny. He's a body. Do you remember Night Shift? The film well, Night Shift? Um, it was him and Henry Winkler, the Fawns. Run, run the brothel in, in, in the morgue. Really, really. I mean, it was funny then. So check it out. Night Shift. One of those films you'd never see on TV, but if it's on some dopey channel or showbox or something, check it out. Night Shift, because Keaton's brilliant in it. Anyway, so what are you going to give this film? The candlelight. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, so true. My, ma, my dad bought a dog in the bar, right? <laughs> so... <laughs> Yes, uh, anyway, go ahead. Um, I'd give it a nine. I would, Just a nine? No, I would give it more, but I want you to discover the more yourself because I don't want to ruin it. Right, okay. So it's nine. Nine? Yes. Right, so nine. It's very good, you'll love it. Right, okay. Absolutely Absolutely love we're, it. Going, we're going tonight to see that. Right, is that you? When are you on your, your, your own show? When are you ruining your own show instead of <laughs> <laughs> Saturday from 10 o'clock until 2. Right, okay. Thank you. Right, Thank bye you, Nanda. <laughs>